I'm currently a professor in the Department of Anesthesiology. Uh, my prior experience and, tr and training was in neuroscience. I've been doing pain research for the past 40 years uh, at this point. Uh, uh, currently, I actually switched a little bit from pain to chronic fatigue, and I'll describe that later, I hope. <laughs> uh, it's quite a complex thing about how the two are uh, fatigue and pain are related. But fatigue is actually quite a complex system, and this is one of the things we'd like people to understand more about. So fatigue traditionally has been thought of as uh, just uh, the fact that you can't contract your muscles anymore. We now believe that it's much more, that it's a complex system, much like the pain system, or, although maybe even more important than the pain system. Pain protects you from injury, because you, once you injure yourself, you will remove yourself from it. With fatigue, we believe that it's, it is a system that prevents you from using up your energy stores. And this means that it has to involve many different systems in the body, including the sensory system telling you, hey, I feel tired, I should stop doing what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, further, that it should also, and it does, activate the autonomic system to increase blood flow to organs that aren't getting the blood, blood at that time uh, and decreasing it in places where you don't need the blood flow anymore. Uh, as a result of that, it does involve other systems in the body, not just the cardiovascular system, but things like uh, thirst and hunger and, and areas like that as well. If people would understand that fatigue is, is this complex protective system, we would be much further ahead in terms of our understanding of fatigue in general and chronic fatigue as well. The system of fatigue that I just described is, as I said, is quite complex. Uh, n normally, fatigue, normal fatigue, is something that's protective. It prevents you from, from using up your energy stores. In ME and chronic fatigue syndrome, the, the fatigue uh, situation is entirely different. In that case, the fatigue system is not working normally, and as a result of that, you, these patients often feel fatigue when they shouldn't feel fatigue, and really don't feel enough fatigue when, in fact, they should feel fatigue. Uh, and other diseases, uh, this, uh, people often feel fatigued as well. However, uh, in those cases, generally, actually getting up and walking around, uh, exercise in general, is actually improves the, this, the fatigue situation. In the case of chronic fatigue and ME, uh, when in fact the, the patients exercise, they actually feel worse. And it's a very consistent phenomenon that over a period of at least uh, uh, 48 hours, if not days or weeks, with uh, following exercise, chronic fatigue patients will feel worse, not better. At this time, uh, we actually believe that the, the way to cope with the fatigue should be individually tailored to, to what's exactly happening to that particular patient. So many of the, of the patients will benefit from very modest, very mild exercise. The thing is that they won't really know, and neither will the, the physician initially know exactly how much exercise they can do without actually having a, uh, a relapse into very severe fatigue for a long period of time. Very important that the, that the patients understand that if they do try to exercise, that they do need to limit it and try to increase it very incrementally, very slowly. So the question is, uh, how should patients try to find the, the right uh, level of exercise that they can and cannot do? Uh, the answer is uh, really quite tricky. Uh, and again, uh, using something like a watch to, to actually time exactly what, how much they've done that time, and then keeping notes about how, how uh, when and if they felt worse or better from, from that bout of exercise would be really important. Can patients get better if they, if they exercise? Uh, this is one of the problems. It, it appears that patients with, with ME chronic fatigue uh, really don't get the same benefit that normal people do from the exercise. So the same amount of work that they do will not make them X amount more fit as it would a normal person. It can make them somewhat more fit, 
but they don't benefit as much as normal people do, even from irregular body exercise. Heeft u een vraag naar aanleiding van deze video? Reageer op YouTube, tweet naar het MECVS Vereniging of mail naar wvp.me-cvsvereniging.nl. Uw vragen worden zoveel mogelijk behandeld in de chatsessies.